drift velocity. In a conductor, the atoms are quite close to each other and are strongly bound to one another. However, valence electrons in an atom of a conductor do not remain attached to a particular atom. These electrons are free to move through the lattice of positive ions in the conductor. Such valence electrons in a conductor are called free electrons or conduction electrons. The free electrons in a conductor are always in a continuous random motion. This random motion of free electrons is due to thermal energy of the conductor. Likewise, the velocity of free electron due to thermal energy of the conductor is termed as its thermal velocity and is usually very large. Further, the number of free electrons in a conductor is very large. Due to their random motion, the free electrons keep on suffering collusions with the positive ions in the conductor so frequently that the net flow of electrons in any particular direction is zero. In other words, average thermal velocity of free electrons in a conductor is zero. If U1 bar, U2 bar, U3 bar, so on, UN bar, a random thermal velocities of n electrons in a conductor, then their average thermal velocity, that is, U1 bar plus U2 bar plus U3 bar plus so on plus UN bar by n equals to zero. Equation 1. However, when some potential difference is applied across the two ends of a conductor, an electric field is set up. If V is potential difference applied and L, the length of the conductor, then magnitude of the electric field set up is given by E equals to V by L. Equation 2. The direction of electric field set up in the conductor is formed positive end of the conductor to its negative end as shown in the figure. Since charge on the electron is minus E, negative E, each free electron in the conductor experiences a force. F bar equals to minus small e, capital E bar, equation 3. In a direction opposite to the direction of electric field, if m is mass of the electron, then acceleration produced is given by a bar equals to e e bar by m equation 4.